hey guys welcome back again to my channel if you're new please subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with us how to draft and sew this baby dress as you can see so in today's tutorial i'll be sharing how to cut and sew this dress you can do this by yourself just by washing so stay tuned and let's get started so first of all what i'll be doing is that i'll draft this pattern first i'll not be drafting on my fabric first so take down the half length plus half inch allowance for joining the down part so i'll mark it out here this is going to be the starting line Yeah, it's going to be my starting line so here is the half length measurement and about half an inch seam allowance for joining the down part so what i'll do next is that i'll be placing the shoulder measurement divided by two so go ahead and place your shoulder measurement divided by two and the neck width so here I'll be coming down by about 0 0.7 for the shoulder slope and here I'll be taking down the armhole measurement divided by 2 so connect the line this is going to be the chest line place your shoulder measurement divided by 2 and connect the shoulders Place the chest measurement divided by 4. Take the measurement down to the waist or you apply the waist measurement as well. Connect. Add about 1 inch allowance. Create your armhole curve. So come down by 2 inch for the back, for the front neck depth and create your neck depth. Curve it out. So add about, come down by half an inch here and create that, the neckline, create out the neckline. So this is what I have, as you can see. So here, what I'll be doing next is that I'll be adding, marking out one inch. So, I will mark out that one inch. This is going to be for the collar. So, I'll cut here. And I'll also, so this is the front pattern, the front piece. So, after drafting the back piece, just like the front, what I'll be doing is that I'll be marking out the neck depth. This is half an inch for the back. And I will come down by that same half an inch, just like the front, and I will create that same design. So this is it for the back. I will go ahead and I'll add my one inch. I'll mark out the one inch for the collar, just like we did for the front, and I'll cut this out. So this is for the front, the color for the front, and I will also place down the color for the back. I will hold them together. Make sure no one overlaps on top of each other. You can use your glue, your super glue to hold this down or your just your fabric, your, your paper gum and hold it down. So here I will be adding half an inch for the zipper because the back pattern I didn't add the zipper allowance to it so I'll add my zipper I will go ahead and level it zipper so that I'll know the place for the back the center back so I'll, what I'll do next is that I'll add about 0 0.25 inch that side for joining into the neck and I'll set this one aside 
so place the front pattern and cut out add about 0 0.25 inches here at the armhole for turning it with the, the lining and also add it at the neckline for adding it to the collar so this is the front piece i'll go ahead i'll cut out the back piece as well and for the back piece i'll be adding my half an inch zipper allowance i'll do the same thing for the back and i will open the center back so i'll set this one aside i'll cut out the collar i'll be cutting out two of this collar so here i folded my fabric into four to cut out a full circle i've taken down the waist measurement the radius for the waist so what i'll be doing is that i'll be taking the length of the gown and i will minus one inch from the length of the gown since i want the net to be longer than the door face which is which is as uh, which serves as the base for the net so if you want yours to be equal you can go ahead and do that i've cut out my lining for both the upper part and the down part I'll go ahead and I'll slit open one side of my fufle. This is going to be my center back. I'll set it aside. I'll set it aside. I've cut out everything with the aligning. So what I'll cut next now, this one is the collar. I've also cut out double of that. So what I'll be doing next is that I'll be cutting out the net. I'll be making use of these three colors. So I'll go ahead, I'll fold my net and cut out the first one. So the length of the gown minus your half length minus the half length. What I have left, I'll divide it into the three colors that I have, and I'll add about one or 1.5 inch to this because I want I don't want it to be showing. I want to, it to overlap on, on top of each other. So mine i have about 3.2 so i'll add one inch at the upper part this is going to be for me for the allowance for the guard for gathers so when i add one inch to what i divided the measurement that i got which is 3.2 i'll have 4.2 so i'll go ahead i'll mark out the 4.2 and i'll cut it out I'll also cut it out with to the other different colors as well the same measurement so what I'll do next is that I'll get this full flay that is the base for the net so what I'll do as you can see I've gathered the yellow one so I'll go ahead and place the yellow one that is going to be my first step I'll place it on top of that waistline like that and i'll be leaving that half an inch for the zipper allowance i won't be stitching my net to that so this is it i'll go ahead and i'll divide this the length of this door face for this satin into three as well so here i'm marking it out after marking it out I'll go ahead and connect them. After marking for the first step, you mark for the second step. As you can see what I'm doing. And I'll go ahead and connect them. So after connecting them, this is what I have. So this is going to be my guideline while sewing it. Like for the second step, where I will be attaching the red net so this is going to be my guideline i'll go ahead and place the red net or the net red tule on top of this line this line is going to be my guide so that our everything will be if ev even or equal and i'll be leaving half an inch as well here 
for the zipper allowance so i'll also add the third one which is the blue color so here this is the upper part i've added this applique this flower applique the anchor flower, flower applique to this so i'll get the line in i'll stitch the armholes don't stitch the neckline and the sides just stitch the armholes and turn it inside out do the same thing for the back stitch the armhole don't stitch the neckline i made a mistake here by explaining it for you to stitch if you want as well you can stitch it it's not a mistake if you want you can stitch but mine i don't stitch i just stitch only the armholes since i'll be turning the neckline with the collar so there's no need for me to turn it with the lining so this is what i have after joining them together as you can see so what i'll do next now is that i will get my door face right side facing right side that is my satin the base for the net and i will pin it down i will not pin it all the way up since i will be having a zipper allowance there so i'll just stitch it down like this and overlock the hem so this is the upper part i've turned mine out if you can see my neckline is raw so and i've also give this a good press so it looks super cute and super neat advice why sewing just be ironing if there is electricity where you are so what i'll be doing is that i'll be shaping this top the upper part i'll hold them together like that the armhole seams together and i'll pin it down i'll also hold this particular side together as well right side facing right side the right side of my satin and the right side of my lining and i'll pin it down and so i'll shape it out i added one inch and i'll be making use of 0 0.75 inch i'll be leaving the 0 0.25 as is so this is it after joining it so what i'll do next is that this is the down as well so i'll get the center front of this flay the flay with the net i'll get the center front and i'll mark it out i'll also get the center front for the upper part that is my satin i'll mark it out and i'll pin it to the down part right side facing right side now pin it right side facing right side so after pinning it i'll go ahead and pin the rest of the waist just get your center front and the center fronts together and pin the rest so for the lining i'll get the center front of the lining as well and the center front front of the down lining the flea lining i'll pin them together and sew so this is the collar i've ironed a gun stay to one so what i'll be doing is that i'll place it like that right side facing right side and i will stitch here i'll just stitch very with a very small allowance so this is what i have so far this is the inside and this is the outside so as you can see it's turning out to become a complete gown so what left for us to do now is to attach the collar so here carefully you have to pin down the collar the right side of the line the lining collar to the wrong side of the gown that is the lining part of the gown and you go ahead and pin it down and also pin down for the back there will be a gap 
in between since is the design we are working with so you pin the center front you pin the back and the other side of the back as well so here this is the one side of the back go ahead and pin the other side of the back so sew the backs together and the front as well so after sewing it this is what i have i'll go ahead and place it like that and pin it down just like making a bishop collar or a, a normal collar for your shirt shirt collar just that same method that is why i ironed and interfacing and ironed the this the allowance so here i'll go ahead out of stitch to this to the right side after which i'll give it a good press add my zipper and also hem the door face so this is the final look guys don't forget to subscribe like this video share this video comment on this video even if it's correction i will accept that happy sewing